Hey everybody, what is up, Waytrip here, and welcome back to our video. Now, I've had this idea for a while of creating a video about how I create my videos because I thought it would be a really cool idea, and I thought it would just be also a fun video. I'm about to hit 700 subscribers, so I figured it would be a great video to do as a subscriber special. Um, so, here we go. Alright, so first off, the first thing I do before I go ahead and create a video, by the way, I should mention, I'm going to be covering, you know, everything from setting up the world to, you know, um, finding comments to editing and uploading. So anyways, yeah, what I want to do here um, is I would go ahead and look through comments. Now, I'm in an incognito window so that uh, you can't really see my name, but typically I would have, you know, three to four notifications every day uh, of comments, maybe even like seven some days. Um, and I would go ahead and read and reply to comments. So this comment's actually a perfect example of something that I could do for a video, because this person wants to know how to use spread players, test block, and entity data. So, what I would go ahead and then do, I would open Minecraft, and by the way, ap apologies if there's any like audio cutting or anything like that. Um, the reason for that would just be because um, lag um, and stuffs. But anyways, if I go ahead and enter the world here, I. Uh, earlier and this is kind of my second take of this first part so I already put episode 12 into my title command next I'll go ahead my I'm at 195 subscribers so I'd go ahead and update that um, and then I'll go ahead here and move on around and back down here where we have our episode so I'm gonna go ahead here and copy all this starting from the comma paste it in and change this to episode 12, which will be spread players, test block, and entity data. Um, so I'm going to change that. Or test four block, I should say. Um, and then, by the way, I should mention, this is about 29 minutes before my video for this week uploads, um, which is actually the one on command log tricks. Now I'm actually the next color here is that purple color. I have to look at what that's called. Um, let me see. Aqua blue dark underscore purple. All right, so let's grab for this one instead of blue, we're going to change the color to dark purple. Well, I should mention there's probably a lot more efficient ways to do a lot of the stuff I'm doing, but I just do it the way I do it because it's easier. Um, and there we go. Now, in order to actually, and that's the wrong button, uh, record the video for the start of it, I always change my uh, GUI size to small, which even still you can't see all the text there, um, and I do that. Now, one thing you'll you'll certainly notice is that I'm actually not playing Minecraft at all in full screen. Now, the reason for that is just because full screen is too laggy for me to stream or record in, um, as you know, it just is. Um, luckily on this world, uh, I typically get closer to 60 frames because there isn't a lot of blocks or anything, but if I start messing around with entities, um, my frame quickly drops. Um, but anyways, I wanted to go ahead here and show the next part of the recording process, which is probably, well, actually, sometimes I would need to do some research. Uh, in this case, I'm pretty sure I know how the commands work, but I would want to go ahead and verify that I know how the commands work. So first off, the uh, first command I need to go ahead and make sure works, I'm actually going to for you, go ahead and switch over to the game. I'm gonna go ahead and cover slash spread players. So I would just go ahead and do slash spread players and make sure I remember how to do it. So if I remember correctly, for example, spread players, then you go ahead and for X and Z, you choose um, the like the locations. Then you choose a spread distance, for example, 100, the max range, something like 1,000, respect teams, say false, and then at A. Um, and it does it all around the front that you set um, those two tildes. Um, and now I need to find my way back, which is done via here, and then via here. So yes, I, for example, know how the spread player's commands work. And now I need to look at test for block, um, which goes ahead and uses data tags. So for example, to go ahead and uh, well, this person wants to look at a button push, so if I go ahead, actually, I have a button right here. So I could actually go ahead and first off find some block data tags. Um, and apparently, interestingly, buttons don't hold block data. So there's an answer to the person's question right there. Buttons don't hold block data, um, it appears. But um, there are block states for it, for sure. 
so I could go ahead and um, test for block um, at that location for a stone button. Um, and then I want to test for if powered is true. Um, now if I test for it being false, it's not a state. Um, if I do that maybe, no. So I have to just keep testing here. Um, if I add it in quotes maybe. You know, sometimes I do need to end up looking this up. So state-wise, let me be... Um, no, that doesn't work that way. Power does not a state. Um, so right, this is where oftentimes I would have to look something up, which I might do in a little bit. But anyways, outside of test for block, which I mostly know how it works. Um, I have entity data. Entity data, I also know very well for sure how it works. But I can go ahead and show you an example to show you that I know how exactly how it works. So if I had someone to pick here, I could do entity data. I eat ah, at e type equals pig. C equals one. Um, and look at the data tags. Then I could say change it to no gravity is one b. Um, and um, I don't know, maybe um, health 1f. So now you notice I go ahead and push it off the edge here. I know it'll just fly, but a single punch should just knock it out because it had one health. Um, so what I would go ahead and do now then make sure is make sure I know how to do test for block and I may switch over to a camera to show you how I actually start recording with the software that isn't this software because this software is too laggy to record and as you could probably tell um, I wouldn't get any decent videos out of this. Anyways, there we go. Alright, so next if I get ready to record the video and first off story for the glare here, um, there's not much I could do about it right now. What I would go ahead and do here is first off I need to check my microphone settings and sorry for the shaky camera and the hard to read screen. But anyways, what I want to do here is I just right click um, on my volume icon, go to recording devices and make sure under my Blue Yeti properties that the volume is always set to 80. My Blue Yeti gain, which is the knob on the back, is typically always set to the lowest possible setting as well. And the mode is set to cardioid, if you know what that means. Um, then, and I just realized I still have OBS open because it hasn't wanted to close itself yet, I'd go ahead and get ready to record. Um, so of course I'd get into a good position. I'm not going to actually record right now. I would press Windows G um, to go ahead and open Windows Game Bar, enable record mic, and click the record button and just go ahead and record. Uh, and I will talk to you as soon as I finish recording this video. All right, so the next thing you'll go ahead and want to do is edit the video. Now it turns out I actually forgot to record a clip to say that I was going to edit the video. So um, yeah, anyways, you'll see a quick little time lapse and then I will see you right after that. Alright, so after you go ahead and edit the video, which you probably just saw a time lapse of, you have the most tedious task, probably, of the whole video process, and that is to export the video. I should have actually added some text at the beginning and I was thinking about it, but I realized I don't actually need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to export, and then I'm going to save it as an mp4 file, name it 1.12, and block tutorial episode 12 on the desktop in max uh, settings there. I'm gonna go ahead and export it and wait 
So if all goes right, you should see a time lapse of this being created. If not, well, um, you'll at least see some of it being created. Quick update, it's been like over two and a half minutes and as you could see, the progress bar hasn't even started loading. So I was going to do a time lapse of this, but I decided I'm going to actually stop recording with OBS so that it can actually load a little bit faster. Um, and after this, I'm going to go ahead and go over thumbnails and actually uploading the video. Alright, so now that we've gotten the video rendered, which by the way took 41 minutes, uh, a very long while. Uh, the next step is to, of course, go ahead and set up the title and everything. Now, I actually do have a default thing so that it automatically sets it up. So, first off, I want to go ahead and I actually don't remember which commands it is. So, um, what I will go ahead and do is I'm going to add the commands there. I just updated the episode, updated the episode title because I'll forget otherwise. And actually, what I could do here is in a separate window, I could quickly pull up whatever that file was and take a look as to what commands I covered. Um, up here it is. As you could tell, um, it, even, it takes a while for me to just play back a video, so... Um, what I want to go ahead and do here then is find where it is. So I press test for block and it see up there. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll put it in the tail. And then I'll add some extra tags down here. I'm not going to do that quite yet though. And then timestamps wise, if it's a video that uses it, I just go ahead and fill this in. I think I'm going to wait though for my video to uh, fully upload before I actually do this here. And then basically the next step is I need links or anything and thumbnails and wait for it to finish uploading. So I'm going to go ahead here and cut to my photo editor. I don't know how it will record, but we're going to try it out anyway. Alright, so in order to actually do my thumbnails, I use this program called Paint.net. I actually have a couple of tutorials on it if you're curious. Um, and what you're going to go ahead and want to do here is edit your template. So what I go ahead and do is I find my layer with my text that says 2. I take the color of it and get rid of the actual text. Um, then I just create new text with uh, text that says 12 in the impact font of size 216 or 288, one of the two. Um, I've been bad at remembering which one I actually tend to, tend to use, so I'm going to put this here now. Click finish, press Control shift s um, and I'm going to have to blur this out here, um, so remember that myself. Um, I'm going to save it as a PNG file um, and name it 1.12 tutorial episode 12 dot PNG. Um, save it flatten it and then exit out and once i've exited out i'm going to upload the thumbnail and i'm going to cut once we are ready to update the rest of the description and all that all right so i actually realized that i don't really need to wait for this fully process so i ended up going ahead opening up the file in a separate window and finding the time steps and inputting them um next i'm going to go ahead and change it from private to scheduled uh set it to next wednesday at 2 30 p.m because it's always what it is for me um, and then I would check all my settings here, um, add my game title to Minecraft, make my recording date today, you know, all that information. And then, yeah, it's, it's pretty set. I've uploaded, of course, the thumbnail. I've set this to go ahead and upload and we're all good now. So before we finish this, I wanted to go ahead and say, if you enjoy what I create and want to help support me, you go to, ready? You're going to go to, uh, Patreon. And actually, yeah, anyways, you're going to go to patreon.com slash wavejump. And sorry if the screen turned black there for a minute. And then you're going to go ahead here and you can go ahead and support me. Uh, if this will ever load, go ahead and see. You can see that I'm creating YouTube videos and there's all sorts of information about Patreon. Um, and there are different rewards tiers. And thank you to Shatter and Beta Noir for being patrons. They're both amazing. Um, and as always, thanks to them. Um, 
And once again, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.